There are a number of um, home theater movie soundtracks that have content down to one hertz. And so that's the aim of this product is home theater more than um, more than home audio. Because it's, you can find a few musical pieces with information at maybe 16 hertz um, and the Canon shots and the 1812 overture that might be centered around 7 hertz. This does an excellent job reproducing those, but in reality for music there's a not that it's not that justifiable, but in home theater there are many movies now with content down to 10 hertz and even a few with content down to 1 to 3 hertz and this has essentially flat frequency response all the way to DC so it can play at, at 120 dB or better all the way down. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can and we can make it move. Now normally it wouldn't pitch very far at all. You see, let me see if I can explain this. At, let's say we at 30 Hertz if it were spinning 1800 RPM, it would and it would go through one phase change of the blades for each RPM. But at 15 hertz, you get two RPMs, so the effective radiating area is doubled. At seven and a half hertz, you would get four revolutions for each 360 degree cycle of the of the sound. So it keeps getting larger and larger at lower and lower frequencies. Hmm.